Today I'm going to talk about the Triple H versus Brock Lesnar match from SummerSlam 2012. This is the best match I've seen in at least a decade. It was incredible. It really lived up to the building. It was much better than the Cena versus Brock Lesnar match that we had recently, and that was an absolutely excellent match. The key to the whole deal was selling. You know, the guys, it was, it looked real. You know, the stuff that they were doing. You know, Lesnar would hit things with intensity, with, with impact. Triple H, you know, when they had the vertical suplex deal going, he actually really was tensing up and put, putting his leg in there and trying to do everything he could to not be taken over. And I thought that that really came across, and it made the match look great. I remember back in the early 90s, you used that tired reverse the suplex spot over and over and over again in WCW, the same spots. And they would just kind of just throw their leg in there like that was going to be enough. And it was not enough. Triple H really just got down on there, and it was just really excellent. Now, i got to tell you this. I'm a detractor of Triple H's. He's one of my absolute least favorite guys in the industry of all time. I do not like Triple H at all. That being said, he did an absolutely outstanding job. Best match of his I've ever seen. So kudos to Triple H. I really approve and appreciate the performance that he turned in there. I thought that Brock Lesnar just seemed so incredibly real. The fact that you don't see him all the time, he's not overused and worn out. The fact that he went to the UFC and came back, you know, and got fresh to explain it that way, which is so missing in the WWE. That's one of their biggest problems. They don't have a rival like WCW to basically, you know, let a guy go to for three years, then bring him back, and boom, everything's fresh. You know, the staleness is off, and that staleness is, is so off Lesnar. You really want to see Lesnar out there perform. It's a special treat to see Lesnar, and the way he wrestled with the impact, you know, that reminded me of that, that snug style you can see from Dr. Death Steve Williams or Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody, Cactus Jack, Terry Funk, so many that I've really enjoyed over the years where it is easy to believe in it for a little while. Where, you know, you look at a lot of the style that guys use today in the WWE, like, come on now, I cannot believe this is a real match. I just can't do it. It's just not going to happen. It's just not not going to happen. You know, it's just bing, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom. Nothing registers. They're, they're getting up. There's not really a story told. The story was told in full and abundance in this match. And it was really excellent to see that story told. The, uh, you know, where, where Lesnar just hauled off and drills Triple H right in the back of the head, and Michael Cole goes, Oh, the UFC! Hit it, take it, take it, a point from him for that. And that was really great. Triple H really sold it. So many times you see, you know, something like a shot in the back of the head or something will go almost unregistered. You know, just barely that generic, stale, stagnant, stomp sort of sell. And the sell that he gave the back of the head shot was believable, it was realistic. He's down on the ground holding Ed, his head and so forth. Brock Lesnar, the, the ups he got when he leaped off. First of all, the balance he showed leaving off the top of that, that table for a guy who's legitimately 275 pounds was extremely impressive. And then the height he got came down and just clubbed Triple H. Everything he did is really what professional wrestling needs. It needs to look more credible, more believable. And like there was a sign the audience said that legitimacy is returned or something like that. And that's just the case. Just the matter of fact what Brock Lesnar brings those credentials, that credibility, that legitimacy to WWE, to the matches he's in. And that match was absolutely phenomenal. You know, that's a true five-star match there. That was the best match probably in WWE and you know, who knows how long. But it was absolutely amazing, uh, even the way Triple H sold afterwards. Although he did do something that doesn't make too much sense. He's kind of rolling one to his left arm, which if your arm's supposed to be messed up, I don't see why you would do that afterwards if you're selling. But... Uh, you know, overall, with everything, it was very good. You know, I thought Cole did a good job. And talking about the diverticulitis and Jerry Lawler, I thought he uh, didn't really do that great of a job as an announcer for that. And quite honestly, sometimes he's pretty good, but on that match, you know, he didn't really bring much, much to the table. But I really thought the match was excellent. Look forward to hearing what other people think or, or had to say about that matchup.